Okay, so I need to talk about the uke thong, uh, finally. Only had it for like four months. Uh, because I need to send this one to John Spencer, because I promised I'd give it to him after he wrote uh, that post for me about the cigar box ukuleles. So, I'm going to show you what it does, uh, show you what you get, and then I can mail it to John. So anyway, uh, in the package I got this neat little patch, embroidered patch. You also get a uke thong sticker, a little sheet that tells you, you know, I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, how to use it. Oh, there was another piece of paper. Well, it just showed you how to strap it, I think. And here is the uke thong. So, this is the part that goes around your neck. This is the part that clips into the sound hole of the uke. So it goes around from underneath, clips in the hole, and now you only need to hold it with one hand. It won't hold it by itself. If you let go, it's still going to flop over. But now you shouldn't have to hold it with your right hand. Um, pressing the uke against you, you can just strum and just let your left hand and the uke thong do all the work. Um, I'll give you a demo of that in a second. Um, I don't know that it works for me because... I don't really do anything that fancy that I need my right hand to be doing these magic strums. Uh, but I'll, at least I'll show you how it hooks up and you can be uh, the judge of that for yourself. Alright, hopefully you can see this. Um, got the uke thong around my neck. In this part, it's you can't feel it, right? I'm holding it. There's like a little metal or bendy thing in there. It's pretty firm. So, you lay your uke here. This goes in clips, and now you can see, if I let it go, it's just going to flop over, but I hold it with this left hand. I don't need to press like this. So now, if I was a badass, I could be doing some crazy-ass drums, but... Anyway, that's the idea. Um, like I said, it's probably for people who really know what they're doing, but that's the deal. I, it's pretty nifty. I probably get used to it. Um, I'm just so used to holding it anyway with this hand, you know, like... I guess actually, you know what? I hold it with my arm. My forearm. I'm so used to that, it's going to be hard to change, but... Maybe that'll improve my technique. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. It's only going down from here.